What's up, Colby Sharp, fifth grade teacher in Michigan. Welcome to my channel where we try to help kids fall in love with reading. Latest edition of Books for Reading, where I look, show you the book that all of my students are currently reading. We're gonna walk around the room. Usually I just have them sitting here. Uh, but I thought it'd be fun to kind of bounce around the room a little bit. And then my least favorite thing about making these videos, sorry for messing up the camera there, is having to return all of the books and make sure I put them in the right spots when the kids get back. So. This time I'll just pick them up, put them down. All right, first up, a few kids here hanging out at the stand-up desk. Operation Do Over, Gordon Corman's 99th book. I talked about this before. It's an amazing book. Easiest book to book talks. The story of a kid who makes a things just bad choice or things don't go well. A moment in his life changes everything and he, and he gets a chance to actually, through this weird event, go back in time and relive things from middle school and try to make it so his dog doesn't die, his friendship isn't ruined, and the girl of his dreams doesn't hate him forever. Operation Do-Over, amazing book. Next up, The Aquanaut, one of the most interesting and fascinating graphic novels of 2022. Uh, Dan Santat's masterpiece, so good, amazing. Kids are loving it. All kinds of kids are reading it. It makes my heart happy. Uh, next up, Framed, this kid, Red Swindle. Talked to, but I tried to talk to him forever about reading Swindle. He finally did, loved it, and now he's working his way through the series. So two Gordon Corman books. Gordon Corman, master. Fifth, sixth, seventh grade, Gordon Corman is in charge of everything. All right, let's head on over to another table and see what they're reading in a different spot of the classroom. All right, over here at this group, we have an American Chillers. This is a series by a Michigan author. He also, he wrote a bunch of books called Michigan Chillers that got really popular. So then he kind of started writing uh, American Chillers, each book a state, it's mystery. It's kind of goosebumpsy. Kids love it, super wildly popular all throughout the state of Michigan. And this one is North Dakota night dragon super popular one there next up one of my favorite chapter books so those earlier transitional readers those third graders those second graders are dipping their toes into chapter books and those fourth and fifth graders who are loving chapter books and great stories just harriet amazing story of this young girl who goes to spend some time with her grandmother in the summer i think the parents are renovating their house or something or having a kid i can't remember but i love this book you're gonna love harriet you're gonna love this little island town that she spends a summer at it's a wonderful, wonderful story, Alana K. Arnold. And then we have Stepping Stones by Lucy uh, Kinsley, which I just recently read in Book Talk, this book, amazing book. Second book is coming out soon. Uh, they loved it, awesome graphic novel story about a girl whose parents get divorced and she moves from the city to the country. Not a fan of that. And they like have to do all this farming stuff. Super not a fan. She's definitely also not a fan of her mother's boyfriend's children. All kinds of drama, all kinds of things happening there. Kids can totally relate. They're really into it. All right, let's go to the next table. Okay, from here, we have Insignificant Events in the Life of a Cactus. You might see this a couple other spots. Our librarian is doing a book club with a bunch of kids. They meet once a week down with her in the library during lunch, and they talk about and read this book. Seems to be going really well. Kids are really, really digging it. So if you haven't read this book by Dusty Bowling, it's an amazing, amazing book. And there's a second one, too, uh, which I was showing a kid who just got logged into the library, the public library, their online services, and we're able to, to see that one because she was wanting to know about more Dusty Bowling books. So yes, really trying to get the kids to use public library more. Kid reading some nonfiction here, the Jess Keating books, The World of Weird Animals, What Makes a Monster, Cute as an Axolotl. If you haven't read these books, the series started with Pink is for Blobfish and the series is just fire, straight fire. Way to go, Jess Keating. Next up, the, this book I read in Book Talked, and then a kid sitting over there read it, and he loved it, and he gave a way better book talk than me, so now one of his classmates is reading The, nice, the Night Bus Hero, really fun mystery middle grade novel. All right, let's head on over to somewhere else. Okay, let's see what we have here. Uh, the Lost Property Office. I haven't read this book, um, but one of our students checked it out in the library and really seemed to dig it, and now one of her friends is reading it, so that's like... Amazing. We talk about wanting kids to be independent readers and when they start to show that they don't need me and my book talking and my recommendations and even the classroom library that we share here, uh, that's really exciting. So maybe you've read this. Let me know if you have, if it's any good. The Odds just brought this graphic novel into the classroom and it looks really fun. I haven't read it, but this girl has all like these creatures in her life and animals through so, like TV shows, video games and all different forms of media and they like come into her world. I don't know. Sounds really fun. Kids are digging it. Uh, next up, we have a kid reading. Uh, he's been reading all of these. So all of the oceans and habitats and, and these different series that we have in our nonfiction part of our classroom libraries. So that's fun to see. I think he was reading about deserts yesterday. Controlled Burn, Aaron Soderbergh, Downey's November 2022 release. This middle grade novel is straight fire. Couldn't get enough of it. Loved it. Kids are all about it. 
uh, after my book talk where I was just, just like, the book opens with, oh, I read this first chapter Friday last week. So I read the first chapter and they were all into it. Yeah, so first chapter Friday. I read the first chapter of a book on Fridays. Kids get really into it. It's exciting. All right, this girl's got a whole stack of books. Let's see what she's got. Crossover. Well, this is just an amazing. Just take a moment and like look at this, what this girl has in her stack. All right, you're not gonna expect this next one. And then she needs a biography, so she's reading Steph Kirk. What an interesting stack of books. I love my readers, what can I say? All right, so we've been there, we've been there, we've been there. We have two more tables to see what they're reading. Let's, uh, let's head on over to this next one. All right, over here we have A Song for a Whale. Oh, grab this one. Uh, Song for a Whale by Lynn Kelly. I love this book. It is one of those books where it's so good. And one year I got like everyone to read it. This year I had not been able to get anyone to read it and I keep bothering them. Like, just trust me, you trust me on everything else. It's so good. Now the girl sitting here is reading it and she's, uh, she's on page 46. So she seems to like it. I love this book, story of a girl who's on a mission um, to, I can't figure out who she is. And she goes on this wild journey with her grandma, bad choices that are amazing and it's just such a fun ride. So if you haven't read this, read it. It's so stinking good. Lynn Kelly, can't wait for your next book. All right, next up, Barbara O'Connor's How to Steal a Dog. This one's making the rounds. Um, we read Greetings from Nowhere Aloud and then a lot of her books. A uh, girl over there read this and she also read uh, the, uh, her Owen Jester, Barbara's Owen Jester book. So Barbara O'Connor is, she's just, she's a home run fifth grade author. Big Nate. Always fun to see the Big Nate books making their rounds. I don't know if any of the kids have watched the Big Nate show. It's on one of those streaming platforms. I should ask them. All right, one more table. Speaking of that uh, Barbara O'Connor reader. Oh, she's right here. She's reading Halfway to Harmony, uh, which is awesome. I read this book aloud, I think, last year. I always try to read one Barbara O'Connor book, just to introduce them to her, because she, there's, there's so many books that the kids love from her. This girl is reading Insignificant Events Life of Cactus and also Friends Forever, book club, personal choice. She's this amazing reader right here. Next up, I love this because this kid went to the public library and checked out this book. And anytime kids bring in books from the library, we make a big deal, celebrate it, because that is a really, really good sign that they are becoming readers outside of school, not just in school, which is just everything. Okay, another book club reader, and she's also reading this. She just recently read this and loved it, loved it. So she's trying to read some biographies, and loved it, and which was really cool is she loved it. And then another kid was like, well, if you love that, you should probably read this. And that kid was right, because this book is amazing, amazing. And I loved when kids are getting to know each other and know enough books to where they know what each other would like and magical things are happening. So those are the books that my fifth graders are currently reading. Holy smokes. We're out of time with them. Loving it though. Great times every day. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Colby Sharp. Hope you have an awesome, fantastic day.